Okay. It's kind of cool. I'm going to pull this down. Don't forget to subscribe to us here in YouTube. Okay? A lot of lessons are going to be coming up for this MPC 3.5 software and also the hardware. We'll be doing the standalone starting next week. Now, this is it. This is the software we have here, 3.5.0, and it's the new update, of course, and it's all in black, so it's like a morgue. But anyway, I would prefer more colors to it, but, you know, do your thing. Now, normally, I don't see this here. This is my um, In Music Brands thing here, or actually the Akai Professional or In Music uh, Profile. And I'd have it right there once you're in, I'll have your profile right there once you've logged in. I come to here, I can log out and I won't be in there, right? My activations appear here. Activations actually leads us to right here, which is our preferences. And our preferences are all right here, obviously. Right? We have audio. We have export audio. We have, let's see, MIDI sync, activations, plugins. I scanned for all my plugins. They're all there. This is awesome. Been wanting to use these VSTs for some time inside of the MPC software, which is good. Glad to have them. Sequencers here too, all right, for recording and playback and play and edit right there. We have the hardware. We have project defaults. Now we don't have the time signature, one day we'll have that. Then we have here, project load and save. Here's where I put the track I wanna have come up. Whenever I turn it off, I've got the thing I've been working on recently, I'll put it here and it'll automatically load when I load the system. It's kinda of cool. And of course, general information's right here. You're familiar with general already, there's no problem with that. Let's press OK right here, and this is the software. So what's cool about the MPC software is that I can move my cursor over here. That says stop, that's obvious, right? <laughs> I go to here and this says record. Okay, I press off and record, okay, cool. I go to, I press Shift R for overdub. So there's help everywhere around here. This is time correct. I press zero for that. So as I put my mouse someplace that says loop press l for loop there's a help menu in the background of this software helping you out i wish more people did this this is really cool now I turn it on and off it's right here lower right hand corner that little thing there it says quick help press h for it on h for it off let me try that oh yeah i see it right there pretty cool and that's it right there now, if I want to get rid of some of this stuff, like this, for example, right here, this is the browser. That's the expansion browser right there. I press X for that, right? And that's it here. You press X for that. I can press F. Oh, yeah. Let's go where that's at. That's F. Here's F right here. And that's the file browser. See that? I'm pressing F right there. I press B. Oh, B. And here's B. And that's my media browser. So you see that? I can put my cursor there. It'll tell me what it is and how I can get to it. Awesome. Now, if I don't want to see that, I can hit it again and it's closed, it's out. If I got tracks in here, let's say I pull a track up, I pull a track up in here, I'm doing something, hey, let's try that. I'll see it. So I may come to here and go to like, here, I got a five, looked at earlier, I'll pull this up. Caution, okay, I don't worry. I don't worry at all. I can bring all sequences up, or I'm gonna bring up all sequences. And I press do it. There's a bunch of sequences in there. That's gonna try and load everything up. I'm gonna see it do it right here. Oh yeah, we're loading up a lot of stuff here. Apparently, oh, there it is. The track's right there, ready to go. Pretty cool. So it loaded everything up and now it's bright and shiny there. We can see what's happening and we can see the track is here. Everything's ready to go, which is kind of cool. Now, if I wanna work on it, just really work on it without having all this stuff around me, I would press this I right down here, you know? And this is cool, and I can work on the track itself and have some fun doing that. I can maybe press this right here, and now it's just a track. So you can clean it up, make it look the way you wanna make it look, customize your view for when you are working with your MPC3 software in your computer. Now I wanna explain something here in the bottom row right here, of course, I did the eye already. This, of course, is the pad. If 
I select any pad here, of course, you see that pad, the color name for the pad will change. If I go to here, then the other one that was here, the track one moves over here, the track one, now the output appears here. That's the output, overall output, which is one and two output right there. I come to get my bottom panel out, I go right to here, I can bring the keyboard in. It's kind of cool that the keyboard sits right there. Now I can come to right here, and this is my mixer. I click on this one time here, and I'm back in my mixer section. This is kind of cool. Now this first part of this mixer section, which you see right up here on top, is called the show pad mixer, right? If I click on any one of these channels for these pads here, it will highlight, right? And then you'll see the color down the bottom. Of course, you don't know what's there on that pad. The pad's here with the name of what is on that pad right here on the bottom of this pad mixer. Now it's cool, I can actually make sense, that kind of stuff there. It's all being sent through to the track. And the track is right here. This is the track right here on the right hand side in the pad mixer. So everything goes there. Now if I go back to here, I'm gonna press control and left arrow. And now I'm back here. I can come here and press play. I see my track here. Move my top here, like that, Oops. there you go, that stuff's not playing, I can get levels higher, there's up here more, Stop it, and I'm good to go. Pretty simple to do, right? Now I can also come to here, right here, and this is our show channel mixer. So I may have this music going on and everything, right? And this is just gonna be the track mixer here. And I have sub mixes that happen right here. One through eight sub mixes. I don't need to see a track, I get rid of that. I got returns here. I can go from here. I got my snare drum here. Just send my way to the reverb. A little delay. Not bad. So I can have the send and return. I'll go back here again. You see the sounds going in here. Here's my reverb, and here's my delay. Press stop. So it's like a regular mixing pool. And it looks pretty cool. That's easy to use. So I'll go back at I for information. You'll see right here, of course, this is sequence and track. We have our inserts here. Of course, right, this is pad right here. That's pad highlighted. I have the pad. That's this pad here. I can these pads here. You'll see it change over here. And the outputs are, are destined for a certain outputs I have for it because this track is designed to go into a different software like Pro Tools or Logic. It's already been done, and it's gonna just track it out, and then the rapper or the singer's gonna come and do their parts, whatever happens, but that's how we use MPC a lot too as well. Now, I'm gonna go to something else and go back in here. Let's make a brand new project. Forget this one, they got a brand new project here. and say, yeah, don't save. Boom, get us out of that. Let's go back here to new project. And we're back in new project. This is kind of cool. Now I want to get my bottom back. So let's go to here. See that? Let's put my cursor there. It tells me what it is. I know what to do. Perfect. So everything is here even like it would be on an NPC. You can see the pads, of course. They're all here. And we got our samples here, which is our sample pool, of course. I can also get rid of here uh, items that I'm not using. So purge unused samples. That's good, too, as well. Or delete all samples if you need to. That can happen right there too as well. So this is just like the hardware except it's in this beautiful software package. And so you can also, let's say for example, I want a new track, I want to bring some keys up. 
and such a good idea. So I may say, look, uh, this track works well here. Let's bring a new track in. And I just want to do that simply by pressing a plus sign here. All right? Okay, what type of track is it going to be? It's going to be what type is it going to be? It's going to be a plug-in track. I'll say do it. And I have a new track. It's a plug-in track. See that right there? I can come here. I may want to go to here. I want to switch that around. I like that one. I go to here. I got all my plugins are right here in front of me. I'll go to XL. It opens up XL. Awakening. That's the preset that's right there. So it's easy to load up your plugins if you got everything logged in. And if you don't, check your InMusic Software Center for that too. And of course, everything works in here as far as sequence and tempo. Here's sequence tempo. It's 120, 128, 120 right here. And so I come to my Q link, since this is screen, I know I can control that here, right? I can change the length, which you see right here with the bars. So what's your typical NPC? Nothing's wrong, nothing's missing. It's just software. That's what's happening now. Any questions you got, hit me up also as well. And of course you see us at samplekings.com. Let's see, is that there yet? I'm here, this one here, samplekings right here we go. In samplekings.com. And right here you can see, of course, we do lessons. It's 20 bucks an hour, Cash App. There's the code for Cash App. Boom, right there. We got, you got Venmo? We do Venmo for you. Here it is. Here's the code for Venmo to pay us. Boom, like that. Once you do that, you get down here. If you actually join us up here and you want to get a bunch of samples, we got over 100,000. And you go down to here and you join us, you will be a member. And then you will only pay $15 an hour for it. Here's the phone number. Now look, I'm not hiding from you anywhere. I'm right here in front of you. If you want to talk to me, I'm there. Now, I don't do a whole bunch of sessions because guys really aren't coming through doing a bunch, but they actually are now and then. So look, we are available, okay? And paid sessions are booked in. That means once you pay for a session and you come to here and say, I want an MPC session on the MPC 3.0. Now remember, I know any MPC, all the rolling gear too, you know, that's just how it's supposed to be. I can come to here, 31st is that day. This is this, how about Saturday? Well, this time, whatever time you see available, you can book that time, all right? That's pretty simple stuff to do right there. And once you get in there and book that time, you say, okay, I want 2 a.m. Whoa, 2 a.m. And you put your name, first, last name here, your email address right there so we can contact you. Pop your phone number here. If you're from international, from a country somewhere around the world, you know, put your country code, put your phone number in here. We can call you. We got no problem with it. It won't cost as much. Actually, nothing. We have an iPhone and we do Wi-Fi calling. So what the hell? So it doesn't make a difference. And... Of course, what do you want to learn in the lesson? That's always important. Once you do, you come down here, you say, click it, and you booked it. It's pretty cool. Now, once you do decide to do lessons, you can also just purchase time up here. Once you're a member, even if not a member, you would just go here into our Sample Kings, and let's say you want to go to the store. Now, where's our store? Store's right here. Boom, hit the store, and you're in the store, and you can book and get your Zoom lessons right here in the store. So it's all here available for you to get busy, to see us, to talk to us, and move up the ladder as we start making things happen. Okay, so that should be everything for you to know today. And I'm going to go back here to my MPC software. I'm going to do some more work and uh, check out some other stuff here that was provided by some sort of rele uh, release notes. And I'll make another video soon, which will probably be within the next six hours. I'll see you soon.